guys, the Black Critic Guy, and with the conclusion of this year's summer movie season, I can safely say that it... FUCKING SUCKED! I am not exaggerating when I say that this has been one of the most underwhelming and disappointing summer movie seasons I've experienced since I started this channel. So many duds this summer, and even more letdowns that should have been shore-fired hits. I should have loved these films, but I didn't. Now, of course, this is all very subjective. I'm sure there are going to be plenty of you out there that will defend this summer movie season as one of the best, and that is totally fine. But for me, from what I have seen in the theaters and from all the reviews I've heard, I politely disagree. Of all the movies that came out this summer, most of which I have now seen, I would only give two of them an overly positive review. Just two of them. For the entire summer. Four months worth of films, only two, in my opinion, were remarkable. And those were Cars 3 and Baby Driver. Coincidentally, both car theme movies that came out in June. In fact, you know what? Let's do a quick summary of all the major releases that came out this summer from May all the way to August. You ready? Let's go! It's an all-around fun movie. Very flawed, yes, but still quite entertaining. Arguably the best soundtrack of the summer. First disappointment of the summer. All style, no substance, and Charlie Hunnam is not a leading man. Stop pushing him on us like he did with the Aussie invasion over here. <laughs> it's not funny. Seeing Michael Fassbender kissing himself. Yeah, that's exactly what I came to see in a sci-fi horror film. I mean, there's nothing more scientific or horrifying than a gay robot. Who the fuck asked for this? Hey, 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 mem remember 21 Jump Street? Me mem remember that movie? Remember how funny, witty, charming, and original that film was? Yeah, we tried to be just like them. Didn't turn out well. No, 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 you, you, listen here, bub, alright? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not drunk, okay? I I'm, I I I know what I'm I know what I'm doing I I have I have I have control of the situation I'm good we're, I know exactly what, what we're doing I know it what was I saying again I'm counting this one since it was heavily advertised stars Brad Pitt and was released during the summer. It was as aimless as the war the film focused on, and can be basically summed up as the intolerable bastards starring Lieutenant Aldo Rand's less charismatic son, Aldo Jr. Look here, the film's decent, don't get me wrong, but it's not as good as everyone is making it out to be. It's, surprisingly, the second most overrated film this summer. Marvel. <laughs> oh, oh, that's rich. Oh, that was the best laugh I had all year. <laughs> nice try, kid. Now, go back to the kiddie pool and learn how to swim before you drown. Whoops, too late. Great premise, 
weak delivery. Quite possibly the biggest surprise this summer in all the good ways. Finally showcasing the Pixar magic that's been missing in this franchise. Oof, that wasn't the only thing that was rough. The hit or miss comedy was too. Too many misses though. What did you do to Tupac? 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 What the fuck did you do to Tupac? film of the summer hands down. Great writing, solid direction, stellar acting, colorful characters, likable lead, a cute romance, thrilling action, great soundtrack, and a very satisfying ending. It's the entire package. Go see it. Yet another disappointing sequel. As Gru's mother would say, eh. Wait, this movie came out? Gee, another Spider-Man reboot from Sony. How original. I'm so excited to see this one. Mm, yeah, it's very exciting. Yeah, can't wait to watch it. What a misleading title. Where the hell was the war between the humans and the apes? I didn't see it. I saw a war between humans, but not apes. Well, there was that little skirmish at the beginning, but I don't think that counts as a full-on war. There was just like one particular battle in the war, but that's the only battle we ever saw between humans and apes. Man, it was just so disappointing! Any Circus was good, though. I wish this movie never existed. Can we please stop sucking on Christopher Nolan's dick already? Yeah, sure, he is a great director. I will give him that, but not everything that the guy makes is going to be gold. Hell, even Steven Spielberg was fallible. Dunkirk is a soulless war film that totally missed the point of what a war film is supposed to be and is easily, easily the most overrated film this summer. And I'm actually planning on making a full detailed video explaining why I feel that way, so stay tuned for that. What? Oh, no, 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 sweet child. No, we're not copying other sci-fi films. No, that's just absurd. No, we're our own original thing, as you can clearly see. One really kick-ass and well-shot action scene, and that's it. The rest is just a convoluted mess. Ooh, so close, Catherine. So close. Great cast, though. When you have Akiva Goldsman as one of your screenwriters, that's a bad sign. They said it was just gonna be an easy grab. Well, it ain't no easy grab. They got teeth. Haven't seen it. Wanna see it. Yeah, because the first one was such a great film, we just needed another prequel explaining where exactly Annabelle was from. Because as you know, we were all dying to know this information. We, we, we couldn't handle it, you know? We had to just have this information. The Conjuring would not be complete without knowing the full story about Annabelle the doll. Oh, come on! Both these films
films I really want to see, but critically, and in Logan Lucky's case, financially, they're not doing so well. Just, just fuck me. Just fucking kill me, please. Just fuck me. End my life. Just, just end it. End this torment. Why? No. What did you do? So what were the telltale signs for why this summer movie season did so poorly? Well first, of the 34 films I mentioned in this video, 13 were either prequels or sequels, and all of them are franchise films. And most people, myself included, are getting pretty sick and tired and worn out of seeing the same old boring shit, especially when it's done poorly. Which leads to... One thing that most of these films share is a lack of originality. Now, am I saying that there were no original films this summer? Of course not. But even some of them suffered from unoriginal ideas and lazy, poor writing. King Arthur? Been there, done that. Baywatch? A poor man's 21 Jump Street. All Eyes on Me, an extremely impoverished man at the brink of death straight out of Compton. Atomic Blonde, a poor woman's John Wick. War Machine, every Iraq film since Hurt Locker. Valerian, every sci-fi film since Avatar. The Emoji Movie, the Lego Movie ripoff. And so on. Hell, even Baby Driver, my favorite and arguably the best film of the summer, is basically a mainstream version of Drive. They even share many similar elements. A mostly quiet protagonist who's an incredible getaway driver in the criminal underworld meets a girl that makes him want to leave it all behind, but unfortunately is dragged to do one more job that goes completely awry, and now he must protect his lady love from any impending threat that might harm them. They even share many of the same qualities that I praise, like writing, directing, acting, and music. But the difference here is how Baby Driver presents its own style. Not to mention that the romance is far more believable and it has a much more satisfying conclusion. Oh, and Baby Driver does a way better job than Drive to showcase the skills of this getaway driver and actually utilize the cars in this film and give us some high octane car chase scenes and even involves a car battle at the end of the film, in the climax of the film. Can't really say the same about the others. Minus Rotten Tomatoes, which I do not consider to be a reliable source for what you should and should not watch at the movie theaters. I disdain Rotten Tomatoes. I could do a whole video going into why I don't like it so much, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the summer movies. And the summer movies this year got completely slammed by both critics and audiences alike. King Arthur, Snatch. Baywatch, Pirates 5, Transformers 5, The Mummy, Dark Towers, The Emoji Movie, and most recently, Death Note 2017. So overall, your honor, members of the jury, I've stated my case. i presented enough evidence in this video to convict Summer 2017 as awful, horrid, in fact, it was so terrible that it even affected TV and streaming with quite possibly the weakest season of Game of Thrones yet, the major disappointment that was Marvel's The Defenders, and least we not forget the biggest and most heinous crime this summer, Ghost in the Shell Part 2, aka Death Note 2017. I rest my case. Summer 2017? Go fuck yourself. But as always guys, I'm not the end-all be-all opinion. When it comes to the summer movie season of 2017, I would love to know what you guys thought about this summer as well. Did you love summer 2017 or did you find it as awful as I did? And stay tuned, more videos are on the way and I will be continuing Bullshit Month well into September because I wasn't able to cover every video I want. I also have some top 10s that I also need to cover. So much catching up to do very little time. And if you haven't seen it yet, please go check out BCG Rumble Chapter 2. It's a hoot, it's a lot of fun. Also stay tuned this upcoming Saturday, September 9th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for something pretty damn incredible and epic. I will be hosting the BCG Rumble Wrap-Up Live Q&A with me, 
Ben Tuttle, the artist, the voice of Yakumo, Jennifer Rose, the voice of Tenma, Kayla's Lovely, the voice of Eri, Sarah Yui, and probably the voice of Akira, Helio Pixie, she might be free, I don't know if she is. And finally, the former and soon to be current voice again of Tenma, Leo Naka. Unfortunately, Sloan the Female Talker cannot join us, she's gonna be busy that day. But we all will be there, we're gonna be answering questions pertaining to BCG Rumble. It can't be anything else. Just ask us questions about chapters 1, 2, what was the process like of making those videos, and what can we expect for chapter 3 and some upcoming gag comics. You might want to know that. So until all these things come guys, if you would like to see more videos on this channel and be a part of the Black Critic Group, please hit that subscribe button below, like this video if you really enjoyed it, and I'm Tony the Second, the Black Critic Guy. Till then, peace YouTube!